Hi, this screencast is going to walk through the development tools available for the Webform module. My name is Jacob Rockwitz. I'm known as Jay Rockwitz on the web. I'm a Drupal developer and software architect. I built and maintain the Webform module for Drupal 8. So what are some of Drupal's developer tools? Well, every Drupal developer should be using the Develop module, Drush, and Configuration Management. And I mean, I, this is to set things up. You should install the develop module. It provides helpful blocks, pages, and functions for developers. The drush command is just a, 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 a shell available to help manage your site. And composers not, you know, compose another command line interface. I think the big takeaway when I say the word drush is to really make your life easier, you should get familiar and comfortable using the command line. You don't have to use it all the time, but it's nice even for me to be able to send you a command and for you to be able to execute it can save a lot of time. And I think it's just really important when we're talking about web forms because they're configuration entities, you need to use configuration management tools like the features module or the config export or the config split. And you just need to research and get familiar with that. Moving on to, you know, what are the developer tools available for web forms? Well, there's a web form develop module that you turn on and it does require the develop module to be installed and it makes it easier for you to export a form. It'll generate a schema for your form, a page that just gives you kind of an overview of the data types and what you're looking at. And there are, you know, it's not required in the develop module, the web form develop, but there's Drush commands that you need to get familiar with because they make it easier to export and manage your submissions, tidy your YAML, download your libraries, and there's even a command to repair a broken installation if you're running into certain issues. So the export form will tidy your YAML. Um, the problem is elements are stored in one giant string with these es escaped returns and it's not very clean to look at. And there's a command to tidy the YAML and it'll make it nice and clean and easy to read. And that's how I manage my web forms. I run the dress command on all of them so they're a little easier to read and understand. Um, the web form scheme page just makes it easier to integrate with external applications because it just shows you all your elements in a flat table that can be exported into a spreadsheet and gives you the breakdown of the data types and the max lengths for each element, whether they're required, if you're storing multiple values. It's kind of like you'd hand this off to someone building an endpoint for you. And finally, there's good old Drush. And this is, it's like laughable. Demoing command line in a screencast, it's kind of hard. You type a command and you get this output. But this is just the command downloading all the libraries because the web form relies on like 17 external libraries and you don't want to manually install them. And if you type Drush web form libraries download, you get them all at once. Um, and these are some of the Drush commands because I really, it's very hard to demo command line, you know, while presenting things and you know you run drush help you can get this list um, you got to walk through them experiment with them and see what you need the repair one just goes in and makes sure your configuration is in sync with the latest version of the web form module and it can repair some broken settings if it's missing you might be getting notices what I really want to demo is the develop tabs that are associated with it so we'll stick to our contact form and we're gonna go over to the build and we're gonna go over to develop and some of these are the default. Develop provides a definition or render. What I want to focus on is the export tab and the web form tab. And if I click export, so what's nice is if you need help, you can go build a sample form and click export right here and get the form. And this is the key feature of this export is it takes this, these elements and makes it look nice and pretty and clean. If you weren't using this tab and just exporting configuration normally, all this would be on one line with the slash n and slash r returns, and it's kind of annoying. Um, and it makes it even easy to download because you just hit download and you've pulled this web form down to your machine. You can create an issue with this web form if you found a bug in this specific form. I don't recommend including your personal email, but I use it all the time to support people. Um, with the web form tab this is where you can get your data schema and it just gives us the lay of the land on what's going on the name of the elements um, you can even edit it from here so the example would be if you wanted to tweak the max length I could go into form validation well not form validation it's form display and let's say I set the max length at 50 I hit save and it's updated here 
just gives you a good idea of what's going on with your form in the data side of things, not what's being presented, but the data that you're collecting. And what's key about this is if you're pushing it to a third party, like a CRM, you can get it in sync and be like, what's going on here? Whether it's required, what type of data, just helps. And you can export it as a spreadsheet. I'm not going to demo the spreadsheet opening in Excel, but you get the idea. It's the exact same information that you're looking at. So let's move on. This is like, I guess, you know, I showed you the cool tools in the UI, but the most important thing is, you know, learn Drush. You know, Drush with Composer is the only sane way to build and manage a Drupal website and download the Web4 modules external libraries. It's If you're not, try it, work on it. People will help you. We all in the community feel this is a really important step. Um, I didn't mention Drupal Console because it doesn't help you build. Well, it does. It helps you write code. So... Console is also another tool that's also worth looking at. But the key is, the takeaway is get familiar with the command line. Be comfortable enough to enter a command if someone says, hey, this is the command you should type in. Um, that's it for development tools. You know, you should get familiar with importing and exporting a web form config. Install Drush. Use Drush. Experiment with exporting your submissions. It's kind of nice to see all that data come out. And definitely download the libraries using Drush. And, you know, with configuration management, which I'm not spending a lot of time on, but you should work on, your, you know, use features to help manage your workflow to get your web forms exported into config and explore that option and use config split. It's just something you need to add to your process as a developer is how you manage your configuration in Drupal. Um, that's it. You can learn more about me at jrockwoods.com. Thanks for your time. Have fun playing with the web form module.